Throughout this video, you're gonna have to put your comments below. You gotta let us know. Do we have a boy, a girl, a rooster, a hen, a big buck, a big Becky? Whatever it might be, let me know what you think below. We wanna know. All right, everybody, so we had this rooster. Well, at least we thought they were a rooster. And now we're trying to second guess ourselves. And they're probably about 15 weeks old at this point, 16 weeks old. And we were happy that we had two roosters in our new flock, our five olive egger chickens that we got about four months ago. And now I'm thinking we may have gotten four, maybe five hens, no roosters. But we were almost 100% positive. It was a rooster, and now is our rooster changing genders? I don't know. But what is sure though is what we were confident about that was a rooster here about two weeks ago and all the time before that now has us scratch in our head that uh, we may have a hen on our hands and not a rooster. There's a few reasons why we think that and I'm gonna go over them with you guys here real quick and we'll kind of explain what you want to look for in a rooster and what you want to look for in a hen. And unfortunately I feel like this chicken fits both qualities so I'm gonna kind of give it to you guys to kind of let us know, anyone with major expertise on this. In my gut, it still says rooster, but there has been some questionable things that's making me think it's a hen. Thanks to my lovely assistant, Melina, here. These are the few reasons why we think Big Buck here is a Big Becky and not a Big Buck. One, the waddles. The waddles are really big and grown in. They grew in a lot faster than the rest of his flock. So usually that indicates male, but not all the time, so we can't be for sure. Same as the comb, the comb came in really early, but same kind of ordeal, you don't know for sure. The next would be the tail. When he was about the teenage years, the tail was very upright, but it's kind of turned more into a cone, and that's why we're thinking more of a big Becky now. But the comb and waddle make it a big buck, but the last indicator is the thing that kind of sets the cake, and we'll show you guys and demonstrate what it is. Hey. Did you just peck my leg? <laughs> Or is that you? That's my good chicken. That's my good chicken. You have to do it. That's my good chicken. Rooster or hen? What do I, you think? I don't know. I think rooster. As I've been saying, for some reason, he's really submitted to Melina really bad. So Melina's definitely been the one to take a little more ownership over Big Buck here and uh. She's still going with rooster, she says. I'm thinking towards hen, but as you can see, the submitting thing instantly for Melina. Every single time, Melina goes up and just stops. For me and Chelsea, we have to kind of like chase him around, and then sometimes he does that, but not as much as he does it for Melina. What was, what was Big Buck just doing in there, though? Just kind of staring in this corner. Nah. Oh, this is a small little one. All right, I said that our hens are about 16 weeks old, all the new flock, the flock members, but they're supposed to be olive egger chickens. This is a little, almost like a fairy egg here. It has a lot of white spots on it, which makes me think it's our buff Orpington that did it, but it was a weird spot outside the nesting box. We haven't seen it like that before. You wanna see the little egg? Is it a little baby egg? It's so speckled. That is, do you think that was your chickadee? Yeah. It looks like a buff Orpington egg. Check our coop for eggs more often, I guess. It's kind of weird. He was just like staring at it, that means, because he was just really staring into that corner. I wonder if I'd find more of them. No other eggs, just that one. He's cute. Can you check it did it? Yeah. Yeah. He was in the coop and just staring at a corner and we uh, Melina picked him up, but then I was like wait He was staring in that corner. What's what was he doing in there? And Maybe he's the one who laid it. it I said you never know, but they're supposed to be olive eggers So I'm hoping that's not the case, but that lady said that they weren't properly marked So I feel like we have a chance that they could just be some Nah, they weird. look like olive egger chickens though. Unless the rooster. Well, he's not a rooster. Maybe who knows? What do you think rooster or hen? I want it to be a rooster. So I'm gonna say rooster But I don't he's a little too friendly. <laughs> but that one time he came back at Melina like he was a rooster, like how they kind of 
Hens can be sassy, I think, though. Not like that. That was like a little turnaround, I'm going to get you. And she didn't flinch, so maybe. Mm. I don't know. But I'm thinking the other one. I, if any of them are going to be, it's the other one. I think that I think Big Buck is a hen. Really? That's your guess? Big Buck is Big Becky. Big Becky. That's what's going to happen. I think it's a Big Becky, not a Big Buck. Milo. How you doing, boy? You good boy? Want to see the fairy egg? Look at that little egg. What are you? No. You don't get eggs like that. We gotta crack them for you. Oh, don't sit. No eggs for either of you guys. Bailey, no egg. Milo, no egg. I'll give you a different one. Not the fairy egg. Even if you sit pretty. So one thing that we've been needing to do, we tried to order wood chips that were supposed to get dropped off for free, but they do it based on any trees to chop down in the area, and then when they do that, they chip them all and then drop a whole bunch of wood chips down for you. Well, that never happened. We tried twice. And now we got to the point where we've been trying to weed whack in our garden area and it's just so much to weed whack. So we've been needing to put stuff down, mulch over a lot of it so that we don't have to come in here and try to weed whack it all and get rid of all this grass that's around the area. Today, what we're gonna do is we have any of the cardboard that we could find and we're gonna put as much as that down as we can and mulch as much as we can to try to minimize some of the weed whacking in this area. We probably don't have enough right now, but you can see we have mulch bags, we got cardboard, so we need to get that done. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are gone. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy Alright, I'm all done. So we're going to need a lot more mulch, but that is why we wanted them to do a big shipment of wood chips to us because we knew it was going to take a lot of mulch and that was free wood chips, but we've been waiting and waiting. They haven't brought it yet. Like I said, it's on a per basis if they chop down any big trees around the area and then we're on next on the list we get the wood chips so you can't guarantee that's going to happen so I got the mulch in for how much we had and what we had of cardboard to do it in and actually about the amount of cardboard we had is the perfect amount for how much mulch we had it definitely makes the garden and the greens pop a lot more which is nice to see we're going to need a lot more to get it all done but for what we have right around the beds area and everything like that it looks really nice and I'm happy are you big Becky or big buck Huh? Who are you? Probably should collect the rest of the eggs now that we got that fairy egg out of the coop. And make sure that no one's going to be snacking on eggs because we have had one that's trying to eat some eggs. We haven't had any cracked eggs here in the last few days. We've been trying to keep up and collect the eggs right away, so let's do that. Goldilocks, I'm going to come back for some eggs. Finish laying. Bye. Can't get all the eggs. Goldilocks is in the middle of laying. She lays a little later in the day than the rest of everyone else I've noticed. So we'll let her do that and then we'll come back. We need something that can hold all the eggs. We gotta make something. We had like cartons and everything before and tried to put the eggs in there, but right now they just sit in that basket over there and we need to kind of either make something or buy something that's gonna kind of display them nice. I told Chelsea I kind of want to make something that will hang right here on the wall and kind of hold them. I just don't know how much that would hold. I'm thinking you could fit like at least six per row, maybe make like five rows. That's 30 eggs. Hopefully we never have more than 30 eggs sitting around here. So, But if you saw the basket right now, pretty darn close to 30. Just in case anyone want a little comparison. Here's like a normal, like medium size. I wouldn't even say this is a large egg. And here's that fairy egg. So you can see it's a lot smaller. Very proud, Melina decided to water her garden all by herself, which reminds me that we need to water our garden. I don't think there's any rain coming here in the next few days again until, oh, I guess it's Saturday, but that's two days away. So we're gonna at least have to water it one more time right now. So I was about to water the garden, but <laughs> Bo, that's, that's okay. Are we this we can cross. As, as you chicken. Chickens. Chickens. 
wash the bench off, then we'll water the garden. Lately what's been really nice is ever since we put our picnic table outside next to our garden is coming out here on the nice nights. It's nice and cool. Our willow tree shades the area just perfect enough that it's no sun beating down on us and we can enjoy a nice meal, see our garden, see how it's been changing, see the chickens, hear them, hear everything else that's around us. It's been a very nice thing to do. Now it's time to give the chickens a little late night snack before the end of the night. I love watching when one of the chickens get one of the piece of food that everyone else wants and everyone has to chase them and that one has to run like around the whole entire run trying to out tire them out to try to get that piece of food. So that's kind of all the reasons why we were kind of talking about whether we have a hen or a rooster on our hands here. Melina loves him or her. As Chelsea was saying, we really, really would wish a rooster and we really want to say rooster, but I'm almost confident now, even after we've been doing this video the whole time, Big Buck is Big Becky the hen. Melina requested that I lock her in the chicken tractor. She got all 14 chickens to go in there with her. And she's having a big chicken meeting. 13 chickens. There's one way over on the other side of the run. Missing the chicken meeting. The big important chicken meeting. What's the chicken meeting about? It's about Big Bucky. It's about Big Buck? Oh, that Bucky. All right, I was told the chicken meeting is done, so they can come free. Yes. Bailey and Milo just got their done playing around. Now it's my turn to beat Melina in some basketball or soccer. We kind of mix the two sports around. But I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I gotta go catch her. See you later. <laughs> Have a great day and a better tomorrow. <laughs>